Hi guys, happy, happy Thursday. It's Lauren here and Laura Laurie. And I am super thrilled um, to be able to record this for those of you that are not joining us live. We're super excited to have those of you um, on that could make it live. Um, Kathy, will you do me a favor, please, and just in the Executive Vibe Tribe, just put a little text in there that we are on and getting rocking and rolling. And um, first of all, for those of you, I know it's going to be casual and you're going to kind of go in and out of this. We are so grateful for your time and that you're investing in a little bit to learn about your business and grow. Um, I'm excited for those of you that can share it to people, you know, trying to schedule things in time zones um, around the globe and even within the country is a little bit tricky because I know the East Coast is ready for bed and the Pacific Coast is trying to eat dinner. Um, but Laura and I together just said, let's block off a little bit of time. Our team has had rapid success, rapid growth. You know, we're are bringing in um, so many people every single week, every single month, and just thought we have got to get people plugged in and we want them to get up to speed with the training. And so for those of you that don't know me, I think most of you do here, but if you're on the recording, my name is Lauren. I've been with Isogenics for eight and a half years. I absolutely love this company. I love the products. I love the compensation plan. And most of all, I love the innovation, our culture, our community, the way that this company just continues to raise the bar and say, we're never going to be complacent. We'll be on the forefront of market trends, of technology, whatever that is. Um, I'm all in. And I love, love, love inviting people to do the same. Laura Laurie is not only one of my very, very, very best friends. She's also been with Isogenics for eight years. Um, she's a top leader, top trainer in the company. And we have said now for many, many years that we're like the yin to the yang. You know, there are times that she said, oh my gosh, Lauren, this person is super emotional. I need you to like kick their butt into gear and get them into action. And then I have called her many times and said, oh my gosh, I'm pretty sure that person is crying. I didn't need to be mean. I just really want them to work. And she's, you know, given them some extra love. And together we um, have been able to help a lot of people. So we alternate being the drill sergeant and the care bears, but most of all, we want the best for you. And that's what we decided um, to put this together. So I'm going to go ahead and just do um, the share screen. Can you, um, Jenny or Laura, I can see you in my group and let me know. Okay, perfect. So if you guys want to um, take a picture of this, um, you're welcome to kind of see our agenda tonight and the flow and where we're going. Um, we're going to be alternating a little bit of training from me, a little bit of training from Laura. And then we're also going to build in some activity. We're going to build in some time for you to put what we're saying into practice because some people learn by listening. Some people learn by watching. Some people learn by doing, by seeing. And we really want this all to land on you. So we're going to do some stuff on connecting. We're going to work on time management. We're going to definitely do the deep dive into the compensation plan. Um, we're going to do some stuff around the um, associate back office and then um, wrap it up with a little bit on events here. So. There are not a lot of slides, just so you know, on um, connecting here. This is it, and intentional because I wanted to talk with you and I wanted to be able to role play as well. So if you guys want to take a screenshot of this and be able to take notes under each one of the categories, or if you've got a notebook piece of paper out, right, and you want to write, okay, Facebook groups, and then leave some space, and what is Lauren going to tell me about that? in Instagram and what is Lauren going to tell me about that or stories or posts or whatever that may be. Um, get out a notebook piece of paper. Those are your categories. And you can literally do exactly what I did here, you know, online on one side, offline on the other side or however you do this, because I am going to take the stop the share off or the screen share off because I want to be able to talk to you guys. And I want you to kind of like listen to what I'm saying and not focus so much on what you have to memorize, but really how to make this your own. Right. And just I want you to, if anything else, realize that there is an infinite possibility of people to communicate with. OK, and so sometimes when we've done the training, I've got slides up with like exact verbiage on what to say. And we have those templates, you guys. And if you are asking for them, you know, reach out to whoever invited you to the call. Laura has them. I have them. A lot of us have them. But the problem with that is sometimes you get so scripted. Like I've gotten some from Jessica Rigner or Erica Rothenberger. And I'm like, oh my gosh, that sounds amazing. Right. And then I like want to send that. And I think, well, how am I going to keep this conversation going? Because doesn't really sound like me or like the next steps. And I want to give you this outline, but in a way that you can really individualize it and make it your own. So 
just to dive into this, um, if you feel like it is easier to chat with people in your warm market, let's say like your friends, your family, people you already know, I want you to put a one in the chat. And if you are like, oh my gosh, my friends judge me. Um, I don't want to sell things to my family. It's much easier to talk to strangers because if the girl from the grocery store never calls me back, who I don't know, that's fine. I want you to put a two in the chat. So if you're a warm market person, like, oh my gosh, please let me just talk to everyone I know. Put a one in the chat. She needs a 1.5. <laughs> Traitor. Um, <laughs> if you are a cold market person, put a two. All right. So Missy's a two. Laura's a two. Anna's of a 1.5 too. That's really funny, by the way. Lisa's a two, Kathy's a one. Well, I will tell you guys that when I first started, I was a two, like I was a two to a 10. I mean, like I thought, oh my gosh, my clients would judge me. My friends are going to judge me. You know, my patients are going to judge me. And I said, all of these people have forced me to buy something I don't want to buy. I'm never asking my friends and family, you know, to support me. But the problem with that is now I wish some of those people were in my business early on because I love this so much. And it's really not about us. It's about what we can do for them. But for me, it was easy to talk to strangers. I mean, I hung out in like the protein shake aisle at Whole Foods and just thought like, hey, I've got something better for you. And I was like, as long as I don't think I'm like asking them out on a date, you know, I was like committed to finding people wherever it was. But either way, there are people, you guys, in the grocery store, at lifts, in restaurants, in networking groups. And we want to go through that and show you where to be. So when I think about connecting online, right? Here's some things when it comes to Facebook groups. If you join groups that you are interested in, this will be fun for you. If you join Facebook groups that you're just trying to meet people, it'll be exhausting because you're going to have conversations about things you don't want to have conversations about with people that you have nothing in common with. Okay. So for example, I'm not a reader. I am not into um, sci-fi. I am not into um, animation. I am not into like silly comedy things. I'm never joining a anime Facebook group, right? Um, even though we're growing in Japan, I thought about it. I was like, I bet you I might be able to find some people in a group like that. I know nothing about it. I don't want to have these conversations all day long and I'm out of alignment. But when I join Facebook groups around the Peloton, which I love, and it's easy for me to talk about Cody Rigsby or Jess Sims or did you do a run or have you done this boot camp? I also find the people I'm looking for who are into health and wellness, who are competitive, right? Who are self-motivated, that they have characteristics of people that I want to align myself with. So I want you to think right now about three Facebook groups that you could join. And you don't necessarily know the name, but you could put in topics and things you're interested in that also have qualities of the people that you want to align yourself with. For example, if you are super into hair, right? And we have hair revival right now, join a group that has to do with hair, like hair trends, hair stylists, hair health. There are so many groups out there where you can generally build relationships. Now you can't go in there and be like, oh my gosh, my company just launched hair revival. Here's my link, right? They'll kick you out and they'll block you. However, if you add value to those groups and you ask questions and then you friend these people and you start to build genuine relationships, there will be a time that you can bring it up in a DM or they will see the posts on your public wall and they will reach out to you. So one of the ways that we connect online, you guys, is joining groups and building genuine relationships. I am constantly adding myself to different Facebook groups. So to give you some Can you guys hear me? Oh my gosh, so sorry. When did I lose you? Laura, unmute. Tell me when you didn't hear me. Some I like examples. to stop. What? <laughs> to give you some examples for the okay. Facebook group. Perfect. So I joined Herb Gardens um, or like gardening and stuff for when I um, do things in the summer, French Bulldog groups, bonus mom groups, 
blended family groups, a lot of my neighborhood groups, right? Cooking groups, because I love different wine groups. I mean, there's things out there. I know that people that are in the industries join salon groups or boutique groups or nutritionists, fitness, personal trainers, single moms, interracial relationships. I mean, there are so many things out there, but I want to encourage you to constantly join groups. And then you cannot just post in there and I don't want you to friend everybody, but add value. Okay. Give before you take, you know, genuinely answer people's questions, make suggestions, put an engaging question in there, something that you can get people to participate with you on and then build those relationships. You know, when you align with someone, you feel it energetically. You're like, oh my gosh, I can't wait to talk to Leah. Then you send a a friend request. You message them. Hey, we're both in the French Bulldog group. I just wanted to reach out and introduce myself. I'm from Denver. Where are you from? Hey, I'm in health and wellness. What do you do? And you build a conversation. Similarly, but different on Instagram, because there aren't the groups, you can find the people that you're looking for with hashtags. So one of the things that I like to do is search popular hashtags. But if you do that, like if I type in personal development, or I type in network marketing, or work from home, or a hairdresser, right? Right away, when you search it, the people that pop up have like millions of followers, right? I mean, like there are these like insanely influential people. That's not necessarily the person that I'm looking for. But what I do is I click on their page, and I look at the people following them, And then I start to follow them, right? I like go through it. And then the people that follow them, I'm still looking to say, are these people fit? Are these people into health? Do these people put out a positive energy? You know, do they look like someone that I think could be into network marketing? You know, do they currently have a company? Are they, you know, what is it that they are maybe talking about on social media that I can align with? And I reach out to them and I'll give you some of the verbiage when I do that. But if you're like, oh my gosh, I don't know who to talk to. First of all, open up your phone, right? Back to the warm market, A to Z. There are so many people just in your phone, right? And if you really got excited, instead of going, oh my gosh, I can't message Anna. You know, she's too busy. She would never be able to do this. And I go, you know what? Anna is freaking fun. She's influential. I'm going to tell her what I'm up to. It may or may not be for her, but she might know the type of person that I'm looking for, right? If you switch your mindset around being excited and enthusiastic and there's opportunity everywhere, it's never for you to decide who wants to do this and who doesn't, right? You let them decide. So you can go through everybody on your phone. You guys, I remember once Jessica Rigner challenged me to print off my entire friends list on Facebook, my entire friends list and reach out to every one of them. And it was like, I don't even know who these people are, you know? But it's like, if you have 2,000 friends, 3,000 friends on Facebook, I mean, there's a lot of people there. Another way to find people online, you guys, is with your stories. So when you're posting on stories and you scroll up to see the viewers or you can see who's done your poll, it always blows my mind who watches that stuff. And sometimes I can just message and say, oh my gosh, thanks for liking my story. What have you been up to? Or I'll say, hey, thanks for watching my story. If you ever have questions about this nutrition or products, let me know. I'd be more than happy to chat with you, okay? So with meeting people online, there's really one of two ways, maybe three, that you can connect with people. So if you're going to message someone, if you're going to start a conversation with your online connections, I want you to put these into like three categories, okay? Okay. One is you're just having a conversation, like you're making a new best friend and you're not talking about isogenics yet. And that is important. Now, I don't want you to have 80,000 conversations that are not intentional because you're going to have pen pals and it's going to exhaust you and you're not going to get paid. But there is something to be said about just building the relationships, right? And it takes time and not pitching people immediately. So when I meet people and I'm like, I would actually be friends with that person in real life you know, send them a friend request. This is how the birthday messages work, right? When I message Tina and I'm like, happy birthday, baby. You know, I hope you have the most amazing day, the most amazing year. And she writes back and then she's like, I haven't heard from you in forever. And it's like, what are you doing? Right? I mean, those types of connections that have nothing to do with isogenics are super, super important. Okay. So whether you have followed someone on Instagram, you found them in a Facebook group, you know, whatever that may be, I want you to just think about like conversations that are just friendly. The second are product specific. So these people are not necessarily going to be your business builders and truly not right off the bat, but that's like, you know, I posted Laura's before and after collagen pictures and Leah's like, oh my gosh, she looks amazing. Or she hearted the story. And I wrote her and I said, Leah, I saw that you liked Laura's before and after pictures with the collagen. I'm obsessed with this market disrupting product. I'd love to tell you all about it. 
or hey, I saw you liked her before and after pictures. Just curiously, do you take a collagen already? You know, and are you married to it? Are you open to learning about something else? So you're talking just about the product, right? You see someone who posts about their muscle milk. And I'm like, hey, Misty, you know, saw you drinking your muscle milk. I'm proud of you for doing some protein after your workout. But I'm just curious if you'd be open to looking at some other products. You know, I've been in the industry for a while. I'd love to introduce you to something that tastes even more amazing. And it's a lot cleaner that I think will help you get better results. You know, you're just talking about the products. Now, the third approach, which happens to be my favorite, is the top down. This is leading with the business because you always have the products to fall back on, right? So when I have search hairdressers on Instagram and I found this amazing girl, right? She's always putting value out to her clients. She looks cute. She's happy. She's influential. And I'm like, man, this girl would crush it at Isogenics. I mean, I'm enthusiastic when I reach out, but I tell her the same reasons I would tell Laura why I want her in the business. I'll be like, Laura, I landed on Misty's page. This girl is so cute. She's got all these followers. So many people love her post. She's so talented. It looks like she's a mom of like two little kids. I love her energy. You know, what do I say to her? And Laura's like, probably all of those things you just told me, right? And like people tell me that all the time. Like, I really want to talk to Anna because she's this beautiful model and she's so fun. I think she'd be great at what we do. And I'm like, cool, tell Anna, don't tell me, right? Like that person doesn't know. And those are the messages. And I say, hey, you know, I landed on your page. I love how inspirational you are. I love your passion for fitness. I love your passion for health. I love your passion for beauty, you know, whatever it is. Say, so you remind me a lot of the people that I work with. We have an opportunity that's ground floor with a company that's not ground floor. One single revolutionary product in a three-step simple system to have unlimited income. Do you have five or 10 minutes to chat with me and I can tell you more? If they're like, nope, or they don't respond, no biggie. I keep going, right? They're like, yes, tell me more about it. More often than not, someone might say, yeah, I'm just not that interested or, you know, that's not for me, but I'll say, you should still try this product. Like it's the number one collagen. We're in L magazine. We're in Marie Claire magazine. Like everybody I know needs to have this nutrition in their body. Even if you don't want to refer it, you can always fall back on the products. It's a little more challenging sometimes when someone it's like, oh my gosh, like Laura's eyes look amazing. Her lips look amazing. I want the collagen. And I'm like, oh yeah, by the way, we have this compensation plan and you can make $50,000 in six months. And they're like, I, I just really wanted a collagen, you know? I mean, organically, sometimes that will happen. And there are product users that will share and make money and they're gonna wanna build this business. But I want you to just think about that. And so when you're thinking about the people to connect with in Facebook groups, when you're thinking about who to follow on Instagram, Come up with those characteristics. I mean, type in leadership, personal development, work from home, health, fitness, hair, makeup, beauty, collagen, right? Then search through and be a recruiter. Put on your recruiter hat. Like get so clear on the type of people that you want to work with, the type of people that you want to prospect, that you actually want in your business. And then start to think about, okay, is this a product connection? Is this a genuine just friendship connection? Or is this someone that I really want to lead with introducing the business, okay? The other thing that I meant to just tell you outside of Facebook groups with meeting people is Facebook always suggests friends to you, right? It's like, oh, you would like this person. And whatever the algorithms do, if I click on, you know, Sherry's page, I'm like, oh my gosh, Sherry's an isogenics with the other 800 friends of ours. I'm not friending that person. I love you. I don't want to preach to the choir, right? But when someone, you know, if Facebook is like, oh, you should be friends with Paige. And I'm like, okay, so Paige has a super cute dog. Paige is really fit. Paige likes Prosecco. She would be amazing at what I do. I'm going to friend Paige, right? More often than not, she's never going to ask me about it. She's just going to accept the friend request. And over months or whatever, and she sees my posts and I see what she's doing and we get to meet, she'll enroll. But if she was to say like, hey, do I know you? I would say, nope. Facebook suggested you as a friend to me and I see you have a super cute dog and you like Prosecco and I just thought it'd be fun to get to know each other because I have a super cute dog and I like Prosecco and so I accepted it. You know, I was like, no biggie if you're not interested. She'll be like, oh my God, that's great. What type of dog do you have? And you start chatting, okay? So being able to go through other people's friends, you know, taking those suggested friends, and I'll tell you guys, I'm so ballsy sometimes, but I'll type in like a popular name. Like I'll go into the search bar and I'll type in Molly. 
And then I just start looking at the Mollies. Now this is really judgmental. I've also online dated. That's really judgmental. But I just start looking at like, who do I think would be in isogenics? Who would do really well? And if I see that I land on your page and all you've done is bitch about gas prices and whatever is happening in the world and you look like a negative Nancy, I'm like, next, right? But if I land on your page and you're talking about a podcast you've listened to, you seem to be someone who's influential, naturally entrepreneurial, positive, happy, gets a lot of following. I'm like, oh my gosh, that person could sell blueberry jam for deodorant. I'm going to recruit this person, right? There are people everywhere. So in the World Wide Web, through Instagram, through LinkedIn, through Facebook, through Snapchat, I mean, there are people everywhere. You don't have to be an expert on every platform, but when Laura goes into the income producing activities see an abundance of people that you can connect with. And even if it's uncomfortable, I'm going to be very brutally honest with you right now. Very brutally honest. I don't love to cold market people on social media. I don't. Some people are really great at it and they love to just find people and send out all the messages, but I do it. And I do it for two reasons. Number one is because the needles in the haystack always show up, right? You get through all these no's, all these people that are ignoring you, all the awkward conversations, and you find someone amazing. So I found Leah Miller, right? Who did all his just enrolled five people internationally in two weeks through Instagram, right? And she's amazing and she's awesome and she's fun. And if I had not sat down someday and said, okay, I'm gonna message all these people, I wouldn't have her, right? And so sometimes I just say, it's not always pretty, but you have to be disciplined. The second part of this is the energy that you put out comes back. So I'm going to message 20 people that ignore me, that unfriend me, (laughs) that don't follow me, that don't respond to me. And out of nowhere, someone that I hadn't even reached out to is like, hey, can you tell me more about that collagen? Hey, I've been watching you. And, And without question, when the messages go out, the enrollments come in and they are not always directly the people I message. It's an energetic shift that you plant the seeds and you will always reap the benefit of that. Okay. So switching gears here to offline, the conversations are very similar, but I'm going to give you one script and then we're going to get into an an exercise here. But I want you to be intentional where to meet people. So I love belly to belly. I love the energy, right? Like where I can't message Jenny how I sound. You know, even in the voice text, like, you're amazing, you're this and that. But if Jenny and I sat next to each other at a bar on accident, we would be best friends right away, right? Like, we could sit down and be like, oh, my gosh, we're totally hiking tomorrow. And then we're going to go lay out by the pool. And then we're going to, you know, cleanse the next day when we would have all these things in common. And so this way I want to go out and meet people, I am just focused on my energy. All I think about is how am I showing up that I can attract people in? Right. I want to sit down with my computer and someone be like, oh, my gosh, it must be your day off. And me be like, no, not at all. What do you do? You know, and then be like, wait, it's not your day off. Why are you in such a good mood? And why are you happy to be working on a Wednesday downtown or whatever that is? So there are people when you're shopping, when you're getting pedicures, you can intentionally go to networking events. Right. I mean, think about where you do business, where you pay your rent, where you do your taxes, your mortgage broker, your insurance broker, your hairdresser, your esthetician, your massage therapist, your chiropractor. I mean, all these people that you are giving money to, I absolutely would encourage you to talk to them and say, hey, I love doing business with people that do business with me. You give the best facials. It makes me so happy when I can refer other people. Do you have five minutes I can tell you a little bit about what I do? It would mean the world to me if you would introduce some of your clients or friends and family to the services I offer and I provide. If people are not willing to do that, do you know how many freaking estheticians are in the world? Do you have any idea how many places I can go get a facial? Like, I don't have to come back here, right? If you're not in support of what I'm doing, like I can find other people where this is a two-way street, okay? So when I think about, um, I mean, certain people like my CPA, if he doesn't want to do it, he's amazing. I don't care, right? I'm never giving up on my CPA, but there's a lot of places that you can go to. And it's about having business to business relationships and posturing yourself with enthusiasm and posturing yourself with professionalism. Okay. Networking groups. Some people don't love them, right? You go in there, it's your 30 seconds, you know, spiel. It's a little bit awkward. Everybody's trying to pitch something, but I'll tell you, I've never not gone to one and not ended up with enrollments from it. I mean, Laura will tell you, I mean, she's like the networking queen. She always has double pibs and many of them come from networking groups. The a girl that I enrolled earlier this week that became an immediate consultant was from a networking group, right? Like we met, we sat by each other. The entire meeting was actually like a waste of time. In my opinion, I came home. I remember Ryan being like, how was it? I'm like, so boring. Like not the great energy, like this and that. So I said, I met this cool chick though. 
five weeks later, immediate consultant, right? You're planting seeds. It's putting people out there and you'll get value. You'll go to some that can help you be a better entrepreneur, can help you with social media skills, can teach you, you know, how to do time management or business development, but there's people everywhere. And the script that I really want to teach you is from Eric Worre from GoPro. And it's a three part script and it's you compliment you state you're in a hurry because that gives you permission to go and not feel like you have to give them the whole kitchen sink and then to grab the contact information. So if I'm on my way out from Orange Theory and I see a woman with a Lululemon bag and she's super cute and blonde hair and she looks influential and it's my avatar, you know, and I think that she was positive and she was nice to other people, you know, she cleaned up her space, she helped somebody else, she held the door open. There were traits that I saw I would say, hey, I know you're rushing out the door. I just want you to know, I saw you clean up the mat for somebody else and like hold the door. And I just really wanted to like, let you know it was seen, you know, like that's amazing. I don't think we stop to help other people out enough. And she would be like, oh my God, like, thanks so much. Like, it's no big deal. I'm gonna say, I'm in a hurry. I have to get to my chiropractic appointment, but you're the type of person I love to partner with. I'm looking for people who are into health and wellness, that are into contribution, that want to leave people better than when they found them. Is there a way I can get in touch with you later on this week to tell you a little bit more about what I do? Who is not going to give me their information, right? And then we exchange contact information on Facebook or Instagram or whatnot. And then I circle back to them. So there are people everywhere. You guys, I go out to eat all the time intentionally. And if someone is a hoo-ha of a server, I might not talk to them. But if they're amazing and fun, I say, Leah, you are amazing. Thank you for making our experience so wonderful tonight. We're in a hurry. We have to get home to get the puppy out. But I'm looking for people to, uh, to add to our team. I'm looking for people like you who handle a fast-paced environment, you know, who work well under pressure, like I'm complimenting her, who are into customer service. What's a great time to reach you this week to take a look at it so I can tell you a little bit more, okay? You can do that anywhere, you guys, at the grocery store, at a spa, at a pedicure, at a gym. But if you follow those three steps, I'm in a hurry, compliment, and you get their information, okay? It could be a whole nother thing of what to do next once you have their information, but I want you to have this abundance that there are people absolutely everywhere. So I am going um, to pull this up and I'm gonna go to the next little slide here and then we're gonna get into action. But one of the things that we talk about all the time is group messages and the party of three-way messages. If you guys hung out with me for a day, and I could give you a dollar for every time my response was put it in a group message, put it in a group message. I will respond to that in a group message. Put me in a group message because they work. And I send you the ones that I do because I want you to see what it looks like. And I was so weird about these at first, but they are game changers. So we used to call it an ETM. A tag message where you added them to a page, tagged them in something that was relatable to them. And then you did the group message. I, for this purpose tonight, I just want you to focus on the message. Okay. Whether you are prospecting someone, whether you have an unhappy customer, whether you are trying to cast the vision, whether you are trying to coach a business builder, the group messages are everything. Okay. Do not ask the person permission to be in them just do them. But how you set them up is whether or not they work. So if you're awkward, they feel awkward, right? They're going to feel like they're getting a bait and switch. They're going to feel like it's uncomfortable. But if you make it so natural, like this is a part of the process and it's all about customer service, it's all about community, they are never going to bat their eye about it. So when I first met Dr. Lindsay, who's the chiropractor that I met, I knew, or that I'm now seeing, I knew right away, right away, that she was amazing, right? That she had the energy I wanted, you know, she was confident, she was fun. And I left our initial meeting and I immediately put her in a group message with Laura, right? And I was like, Laura, I just met this amazing chiropractor. She's fun, she's amazing, she'll crush it with us. And I was like, Dr. Lindsay, meet Laura, you know? I was like, tell her your story, tell her about our team, tell her about, and you know, it's not like she enrolled right there on the spot. It's not like she went to executive right there, but I showed her the community and I validated what we do, right? And 
I never was like, oh, if you want, I can introduce you to this girl. It's awkward, right? Same thing yesterday. I met this amazing owner of a med spa. She's Miss Colorado right now. I didn't know that. And I left and I put her into a group message with Lauren Teresa. I'm like, you guys, I just met this fabulous person. She's going to crush it with us. Tell her a little bit about what we do. And I want her to see that. Okay. I have someone who's having a bad collagen experience. She's breaking out. She's like, uh, I thought I was supposed to help her scan. I'm like getting adult acne. I put her into a group message with someone else that had that same thing. I'm like, Hey, I know you went through this. Can you talk to her about how it got worse before it got better? I just want to have a great experience. And I don't want her to feel like she's on Gilligan's Island with this experience. You know, when I have new product users, I'm like, oh my gosh, Anna, you got to meet Kathy. We're so excited for you to share. We want you to get your products for free. And I'll say something like, Anna, uh, Kathy was a lot like you. She was nervous to post, you know, she didn't really want to um, put it out there. She didn't want to sell, but now she's gotten her products for free. She's helped so many other people do it. Kathy, can you just tell Anna what you did, how it didn't feel salesy, the reward of being able to help your friends and family look amazing. And so I want you guys to just ingrain yourselves in three-way messages, three-way messages, three-way messages, three-way messages from the prospecting to unhappy customers, to vision casting, to business builders, like let them see the community and let them hear it from somebody else besides you. So I am going to set a timer for two minutes, two minutes. And I want you guys to do two things. Okay. You're muted, but I can watch you and I can see you. The first thing I want you to do is I want you to send a group message right now. With one of those examples, if you have a pissed off, unhappy person, put them in a thread. I can handle it. Put me in all the ones of pissed off people. I got it. Don't worry about it, right? I can help them. If it is someone who you're prospecting, if it's someone that is like, oh my gosh, this person's not responding to me. If it's like your chicken list, you're like, oh my gosh, what do I say to them? You know, whatever that is, I want you to do an ATM right now with a current customer that you want to introduce the business to, with a prospect, with an unhappy product user. Okay, so take them put you and one other person, right? Don't put eight people in the thread that's overwhelming. Just one other person that can help the situation that you have. And your goal is to do it in 60 seconds or less, right? If they're five minute messages, they're five minutes too long, okay? That's the very first thing I want you to do. The second is on your notes right now, I want you to make a list. And I want you to write down five or 10 people that you can reach out to about isogenics before the end of the week. So whether you are like, okay, I'm going to go back and watch my stories and my viewers there. I'm going to go through my Facebook groups or, oh my gosh, I never reached out to my mortgage broker. I never reached out to my hairdresser. Oh my gosh, I've never asked my vet about isogenics or whatever it is. I will tell you that I better be in some of these ATMs. You can use anybody on the team. It doesn't all have to be me. It doesn't all have to be Laura, but I'm going to know right away if I'm even in some of these, if y'all do this homework. So um, I was hoping that I could play the music. I was asking before if you can hear it. Um, I'm going to see again if I can try to do that. But you guys have a couple minutes. And I want you right now to do a group message and make your list. Ready, set, go work. All right, so I'm going to give you just another minute or so to work. And I know a couple of people have just joined us. Um, hi, Cora. Hi, Miss April. So we were just wrapping up um, a segment on connecting and where you can find people online or offline. Remember, this is all recorded, but right now we have a little exercise. And the first part of it was to do a group message. If you've not done an ATM, you know, with a prospect or an unhappy cleanser or a business builder, just to introduce the three-way message so that Misty, I just saw yours come in. I'm so proud of you. Way to go. 
um, to do these group messages and understanding the value behind them. And the second part of the um, task, and as I introduced Laura, you guys can keep doing this, was a list of a minimum of 10 people that you want to reach out and share isogenics to um, before the week is over. So maybe someone who saw a Facebook post of yours, so they like the collagen, and I can message Jenny and say, oh my gosh, thank you for liking the before and after pictures. I would love to tell you about our 20th anniversary sale. If it's your veterinarian, if it's your chiropractor, your massage therapist, your esthetician, your best friend from college, a list of 10 people that you can reach out to for the products of the business for Isogenic before Sunday night. So Laura, for the sake of time, I kind of introduced you as we got going. I'm going to mute and put the share of the screen up. I'm going to let you take it away now. Thanks, Lauren. All right, guys. I am so excited to be doing this this evening. I know it's already Thursday evening. I know it's easy to feel a little bit sleepy, but I want everybody to just kind of do this for a second and get the blood flowing. Whoop, whoop. Okay, awesome. Thank you very much. Um, let's see, Lauren, can I go back a slide, I think maybe? Yeah, that's the one. Perfect. All right, guys. So I am going to be talking about time management and mindset. And I will just tell you from a time management perspective, I have been on both sides of this. When I got started with Isogenics eight years ago, I was working a full-time corporate job that was about 60 hours a week. I had two kiddos at home who were very actively involved in sports. And I worked every Saturday in a chiropractic office. I was busy. Like I was busy. Okay. So I had to figure out, I saw the vision of what this would do for me. Okay. I wanted it full-time. Some of you may don't want it full-time. You love what you do and you're not looking to leave your full-time gig, but you love the idea of creating this residual income stream, being part of this community, part of this culture. And you say, oh my gosh, how am I going to fit this into my life? And I think one of the most important things that we can do is create some time management, managing our time and the activities around building this business, keeping the mindset of, if I am consistent, you guys, consistency is my favorite word. I'm probably going to get it tattooed on me somewhere. It is the backbone of this business. There is nothing more painful than putting your foot on the gas and taking it off and putting your foot on the gas and taking it off. If you keep your foot on the gas and you're doing the speed limit of about you know, 35 to 55, your business will continue to grow. But if you go hundred miles an hour and slam on the brakes and you wait a month and you go hundred miles an hour and you slam on the brakes, it is torture. It's like ripping a bandaid off one hair at a time. So I wanna just take the next bit of time and talk about um, what are income producing activities in the time that you're going to dedicate to building your isogenics business? What should you be doing? What does time blocking look like? And what kinds of things should you be planning for? If you don't have a plan, you have nothing. But the one thing that I tell everyone, if you aren't doing this, if you aren't doing this in the pockets of your time, part-time creating this income stream, whether it's creating $100 a week, $54 a month, $10,000 a month, whatever that is, if you weren't doing this, what would you be doing to create that additional income? For most people, they have to go take a job where they're literally exchanging their time for a paycheck, right? And we all know what that looks like. I will have to take a part-time job working 15 hours a week where I show up, I punch the clock, I work my time and I go home. The beauty of this business is you're in control of the schedule. You fit it in where it works. And if you stay consistent over time, you create that residual income where the inc your time is like this, but your income is like this. That's what happens over time in this business. And I love that expression or that saying down at the bottom that says, people overestimate what they can do in a year but they underestimate what they can do in five to 10 years. And if you all wanna see my compensation history over eight years, I will tell you it's this, but it's grown like this, okay? And that's what eight years does. 
So it's what you're going to do over time with this business and have fun with it. But if you don't block your time, if you're not managing your time, this business becomes a challenge. And that's where I see it happen over and over again. People aren't consistently managing their time around this business. This is when the struggle comes. If they're like, I'll do that later. I'll do that later. I'll do that later. I'll do that later. And a whole month goes by now, you know, the foot's been off the gas for a month. So let's talk about first and foremost, if you are doing this, which I think most people on this call are doing this in conjunction with something else. This isn't their only thing, right? I think most of you on this call. So get yourself a calendar. I don't care what it looks like. Lauren uses the one on her phone. I use a paper calendar. Everyone makes fun of me that I'm from 1990, which I think I am. Um, and I, I need a paper calendar. It's what works for me. I've tried to go to my phone and some electronic components and it's just not worked as well. So whatever your calendar technique is, use it. And what I do, and this is my tip for you, is I know what's coming up in the month of April, right? Any must, must do's are already on my calendar for April, right? We all, does everybody here have some must do's in April? Okay. On Sundays in the morning, when I'm having my coffee or doing whatever I'm doing, I'm making sure that following week has in an, and my calendar, and you can do this on your phone too, but my calendar, you know, is like line by line what I'm doing. So the things I know, like I go to networking groups. If you go to a job, you know, at your job, you'll be at your desk, in your cubicle, wherever that is, you put that on your calendar. I'm at my job, right? And then where, and then whatever you have personal commitment, a child's event, a sporting event, whatever that looks like, put it in your calendar and then look and see, you'll be shocked at how much time is left, right? You might have an hour in the morning before you go to work. You might have an hour in the evening after dinner or after the kid's sporting event. That's, that's the time you're going to dedicate to building your isogenics business. You don't have to go take five hours at night punching a clock, making 15 bucks an hour, lock it on your calendar and say, okay, you know what? Um, I know in the morning I have 45 minutes, 45 minutes, Monday through Friday, I'm going to put in my isogenics work. And let's talk, we'll talk about what isogenics work actually is, but you've got to block the time. How much time do you have each week after you put in the things that you have to do, right? The, the full-time job you're working, the, you know, getting your kid to a soccer game, et cetera. Look and see what's left. It could be five hours. It could be 10 hours. Block the time. That's isogenics time and hold it sacred. Just like you would going to church on Sunday or making sure you're at your kid's soccer game or taking care of a client or being at your at work. The time you block for isogenics is just like if you had to take a part-time job and go punch a clock. So block it and keep it just as sacred because that's what's going to keep the money coming in. And the other thing I'm going to say is if you guys have spouses and families and other people, tell them, hey, this is the time I'm going to be working on my isogenics business. When I first got started, I was so excited. I didn't tell my family what I was doing. I just was doing it. And they were all just like, what's mom doing? What, why are you not sitting here watching TV with me? Like what's happening tonight? And so I had to sit down with them and say, hey, these are the days, the nights that this is what I'm doing after work. And after you guys are done with homeworks and showers and sports, this is what I'm doing. And this is why I'm doing it. Then I had their buy-in and believe me, I would have much rather worked on my isogenics business than watch mindless television at night. However, I still set some time aside, you know, it might be Friday night is movie night or whatever that looks like. So my family gets their time too. And I promise you guys, if you're blocking your time and you are honoring it, it's going to be a game changer for your business. So let's talk about what are you actually going to be doing in that time you blocked, right? Because you don't want to be getting ready to get ready in those little pockets of time. You want to have specific, actionable things that you're going to do. So you've already added in all the musts. I must go to my, you know, my day job or my whatever. I must 
you know, have dinner with the kids or I'm, I'm going to church on Sunday. All those things are in. So now you have your time left over. What does it look like to do income producing activities? What are those things? What should I be doing? We use a model called three by three by three. This is the most basic income producing activity. You can up these numbers, guys. You can do five by five by five, 10 by 10 by 10. But at a minimum, I would encourage you each day that you have time blocked to work on isogenics that you're doing three by three by three. What does this mean? It means three brand new reach outs. You're going to reach out to three brand new people that you have not talked to previously about isogenics. You're going to follow up with three people that you may have previously talked to isogenics about, and you're going to do three acts of service, some, some sort of kindness. It could be three birthday messages. It could be sending a thank you message. It could be writing a handwritten thank you note. Um, it could be reaching out to somebody you know that's struggling and checking in on them. Three by three by three. That's your minimum daily activity. Um, if you are looking to drive your business a little bit more, I would encourage you to do maybe five by five by three. Um, remember, it's we are averaging, especially for the new person, between 10 and 20 reach outs to get one enrollment. So if you want double PIBs, that means you're reaching out to 20 to 40 people. So you might want to up that three by three by three to five by five by three, just a tip. The other thing that I didn't mention that I want to mention, when you are time blocking, I cannot encourage you enough, put the team training call on Monday night as a non-negotiable on your calendar. I have been with Isogenics for eight years. And it was the one non-negotiable, a millionaire, not Lauren, she wasn't a millionaire eight years ago. A millionaire told me, why would you ever give up free training that's good your business? And that resonated with me. I, from the time I started building this, our team calls, I think they used to be on Tuesday and it was a conference call and you dialed into a conference call line and listened to people talking. <laughs> And now at least we have Zoom and we can see each other. It was on my calendar. I never missed. In eight years, I can probably tell you I haven't missed 10. Why? Because I always learn something new. It keeps me fueled up about this business. I love hearing different people talk about this business. I, it, and I get off the team calls and I'm just excited. I'm fired up. Don't give up free training that's going to drive your business. Now, obviously, if you can't, absolutely can't make it, you can't make it, get the, the recording. But I'm telling you, there's a different energy. You listen to recordings. I know how I listen to recordings. I put a headset in and I'm cooking dinner. I put a headset in and I'm, you know, putting makeup on, the dog, I'm walking, the, I'm distracted. Everything you can possibly do to be on our team calls on Monday nights it will change your momentum, your focus, the way you look at this business over time. So don't miss free training. Wanted to throw that out there. Okay, so back to income producing activities. That three by three by three or five by five by three, you're reaching out to five new people. Now, some of you may be reaching out to people in the course of your job. So if you have a job that's interactive where you see people, you might see moms at dance class. You might see patients in an office. You might have clients that come into your business. Whatever that looks like, know who you're seeing that day and make a mental note. I want to be sure I talk to these people about collagen, about adaptogen, about shakes or vitamins or whatever that looks like. But know that closely, that those are the people you're going to be talking to that day, right? That you're going to see them at your office, your place of work, wherever and you wanna be sure you reach out to them. So include that as part of you know, your income producing activities. And then the follow-up. And then guys, definitely use the group messages as part of this process. I think it's so powerful to connect people together. And I, am, I will tell you, I was so against it in the beginning. It was so weird to me. Like, why do I need to have somebody talk to Jenny? 
right? Like why it's so weird. But when you really understand that we're a community and through our connecting people into our community draws them in. It's not like, hey, I want you to talk to Jenny. She's my upline. She's going to tell you how to rock this business. It's like, oh my gosh, Tina, I cannot wait to introduce you to Jenny. She is so fun and she is just a ball of energy. And I love getting like-minded people connected. I want you to hear her story. So when you look at those messages, those group messages as ways to, con- to pull people into our community and really edify each other and let them know what a great fit they would be for our community, those messages are just amazing. So um, as part of your um, IPAs, utilize some of those follow-ups. So it might be you reached out to somebody, you send them some information, and the follow-up is a, is a group message, right? Um, I think, Lauren, at this point, it might be a good opportunity, unless there's something you want to add on the income-producing activities, I'd love to maybe jump to our activity and just get people thinking a little bit about their calendars. Yeah, no, the only thing I would say in here, you guys, and we're going to dive into that activity. I mean, I love everything that Laura said about that. Like, it doesn't have to be either or. I mean, honestly, what she's saying about there's people everywhere. So many times I go, oh my gosh, I, you know, I'm headed to soccer games all day long and I've got baseball games. I'm like, and I'll respond back. I'm like, oh my gosh, there's so many people there for you to talk to, you know? And they're like, oh, and you don't think about it. And, you know, just to be excited and tell people, say, I don't know if you send my post, but you should really check out this product I've been using. You know, I feel amazing. And people are excited and you can do it either one, but the discipline behind it. And the only thing that I really, really want to um, dig in a little deeper here before you get into the exercise um, or reinforce is be so specific on what you're doing when you block that off. So as a personal trainer, former personal trainer, people would say, I'm going to the gym and they would get there and they would not have a plan. And they were like, am I doing cardio? Am I lifting? How many sets? How many reps? And it has been so much time, you know, trying to figure it out or they wouldn't get the results because they didn't know what they were doing. And that's why people have trainers because they count your sets, they count your reps, and they know what to do or people who are very disciplined. If you look at Jenny Thompson, you can tell right away she works out and she goes into the gym and she knows, is she doing triceps or shoulders or core or cardio? Is it hit? Is it steady state? And if you get really focused on your business here, you'll get those results. So if you're like, wow, I spend a lot of time on social media and I get on every team call or, you know, I listen to all those podcasts, but you don't have enrollments. Um, you need to put the personal development on hold and you need to talk to a lot of people. If you have a lot of enrollments, you're someone that's like, wow, I have six or eight enrollments every month, but you're not developing your people. You have not consultants or managers. Then part of your time blocking needs to get clear on when are you doing team development? You know, when are you blocking out time? to really teach your people how to do what you're doing. Cause you don't want to just enroll 20 people. You want them to be able to enroll 20 people. So as we get into this exercise and I'll let Laura set it up, just be so clear on, am I reaching out? Am I following up? Am I doing personal development? Am I hosting an event? And am I blocking out time to go through my new customer and teach them about Isolife, you know, to teach them about the Isobody challenge and That is so, so, so important. And that's why I love color coding. And that's why I can look at my calendar and go, wow, I have a lot of mentoring calls, but no enrollment calls. Or I look down and go, holy cow, that's a lot of recruiting stuff, but I don't really have any events going on. And to figure out what that is, but when you're blocking out your calendar, to just be clear on what it is you're doing. So Laura, that should have the next calendar. Yeah. And I want to go back to, to something. So when we talk about reaching out, following up, et cetera, where does that come from, right? Like, oh my gosh, well, I don't know. I'm going to reach out to five people. What five people am I going to reach out to? So one of the things that Lauren talked about was having a list, right? You have to have a working list. So if you have 30 minutes blocked off in the morning that you're going to work on your isogenics business and you want to do five by five by three, well, what five people am I going to reach out to? It's not like, well, let me open up my phone and fart around on social media and see who to reach out to. It's, I have a list right here that I created of people and I'm going to work on the first five. Additionally, think about what you're doing during the day. You guys are busy, right? You're not sitting around doing nothing. Who are you coming in contact with? If you work a full-time job, who at your job can be part of your list? If you're active in church, who at your church can be part of your list? Who would you love from your 
church community or your book club, who out of those people do you adore and would love to have as part of your business? Put them on your list. And then when you're at book club or when you're at your full-time job or you're at church, you're connecting with those people. And that's part of your activities. And then, you know, some of you have really active kids in sports and you're spending a lot of time on the sidelines watching, you know, soccer or baseball, whatever that is. There's people all around you, put them on your list and make them people you're going to follow up with. You're going to talk to, you're going to reach out to, you're going to share with. Take samples with you when you go. Little pointer, take samples. So when you're talking to those people, you can give them those things. So I want you to get whatever your calendar mechanism is. If it's your phone, um, and we may not complete this as assignment tonight, but I want you thinking about this. So get your calendar out, whether it's your paper calendar or whether it's your phone or whatever you use and take a look at the balance of this week and next week. And I want you to prepare April going forward, but I really want you to look right now at today is Thursday. What does Friday, Saturday, Sunday look like for you? What are your commitments you've already made and where do you have time in between? Where can you pull in pockets of time to work on isogenics? And remember, you wanna start with the things that are absolutely non-negotiable. So if you're working a full-time job, that might be, you know, 8.30 to five, I'm gonna be at my job, right? Um, if you take a lunch break, and this was a little tip I learned from Lauren, because when Lauren got started, she was busier than me. Um, if I didn't have lunch meetings at lunchtime, I packed my lunch and I sat in my car in the parking garage, and this is no joke, and I worked for an hour. I ate my lunch and I worked because I was already working 60 hours a week and I'd leave work and I'd go to the lacrosse field and I'd have homework and showers. And so wherever I could squeeze that hour lunchtime, that was it. I worked. So just some food for thought when you're looking at your calendar and where you're going to squeeze in. If you don't have to be to work at 8.30 and you're not one of those, I get up and go to the gym at five and shower people, can you find 30 minutes in the morning? Maybe that's your social media time. You know, maybe it's 15 wonderful, consistent posts up on social media every morning. Um, so look at your days. Everybody looking at their calendar and finding time right now that's going to be designated isogenics time. You guys, as you do that too, um, and just for the sake of time, I think we'll kind of keep rolling and you can kind of just take some notes and go back to that later on tonight or tomorrow and get clear on that. Um, but I just want to um, tell you, don't block off time for personal development necessarily. Like you can do that while you're doing something else. So like where Laura and I do write our gratitude in the morning or we write out our intention statements. Um, we both listen to a podcast daily. Like I don't necessarily sit down and take notes to that. Um, but I listen to that while I'm showering and why I'm getting ready or why I'm driving. And I was having a conversation with a girl today and she's like, oh my gosh, you're constantly listening to books. And I'm like, I drive a lot, you know? And if I'm gonna go an hour and have a coffee appointment, I mean, I'm gonna fill my brain the entire time on the way there. And not only do I have like new sound bites that are really good, but my energy is in a great place. Like I love country music, but if I drive for an hour listening about all the breakups and dogs that died and tractors that broke down, like I don't show up the same way as like, if I listen to like Mel Robbins and Tony Robbins, like I walk into that coffee appointment, like ready to break down a door. I mean, I'm fired up, you know, but it's also a great use of time. And there are just some non-negotiables. Like you guys, when you set them in your business, like working out is a non-negotiable for me. It's for Jenny, it's for Laura, right? It's a trait of ours and our business are reflections of us being disciplined humans. Laura and I have gone to Mexico many times together. We've had our share of bottomless drinks. We get up, we work out. Like that's a part of our lifestyle, but our business is the same way. Like I have not worked an eight hour day in over eight years and I intend to never do that again, but I also have never gone a day without touching my business. 
like whether I respond to a text message, I post on social media, I check my cycles, like I'm clued in because that's what creates the freedom. And that's what we're talking about is just getting so disciplined to say, you know what, I'm going to message three people a day. I'm going to make sure five new people every single week learn about this opportunity, right? And just being so lost in that service of what we have, it's going to come to fruition. So I'm going to um, take it back here, you guys, and we're going to talk about the comp plan a little bit here. And um, I don't know why it keeps going to the beginning slide every time I do the stop the screen, but I'm going to actually pull up some different slides and try to show some of this because we have some really, excuse me, new people. And I want this to be available as a tool. Um, Lynn Hagedorn recently did a team call for us. And I like the way that she said this, because I've always tried to break down the compensation plan into three different parts. And I say, we have, you know, phase one, which is you share, they share, you know, um, we get our products for free. We have phase two, you know, which is ACMDE. That's the tracks to run on. That's your fast track to executive, all of the rank advancement bonuses in the leadership pools that are associated with those ranks. And then we have the cycles and we have the residual and how we're building for depth. We're building for generations. And I think often when we get people excited about getting their products for free, what happens is we minimize the business, right? And we also dilute the opportunity because it's comfortable. It's kind of easy. Like we don't feel like we have to sell to anybody or really cast the vision. So Flora like doesn't want to sell. And I think she's really busy and she's got these two kids and she's in HR, but I'm like, just so you know, like there's a way for you to get a couple hundred dollars. If you have a couple of friends that want to do this with you, I mean, it's awesome. And it's super generous of Isogenics. However, if you were to tell Laura, hey, you are one of the hardest working people I know. And I know that the more time you have, the more you give. I think if you looked at our contribute, if you looked at our compensation plan, you would be in awe in ways that you can contribute. The time that you would have, the freedom that you could create. Would you be willing to chat with me for a few minutes? I want to show you how to earn twenty to thirty thousand dollars in the next six months. And she's like, What? I mean, I'm telling you, I've got some friends in corporate America. They don't get twenty to thirty thousand dollar a year raises, you know. And this is eligible for everybody. And this is the fast track to run on. And then the cycles and the residual. You guys, you've seen some of the slides, and if you haven't, you can find them. But where it says, you know, if you cycle ten times a week, which is one star, that's the equivalent to like a teacher salary. Or when you get to, you know, three star, which is forty cycles, that's a six figure level. That's like equivalent to a lawyer salary. A lot of times, it's really hard for people to see, and they're like, "What? How am I going to replace my job? Or where does that come from?" But this is what Laura talked about in her story that her compensation plan, you know, it's just like gradually built and gradually built and gradually built. And that's the compound effect. I and mean, you hear that people made $1,000 their first year, $5,000 their second year, $20,000 their third year, $80,000 their fourth year, $300,000 their seventh year. And that's the compound effect. And we want to kind of show you that. But I think often people go, well, what's my left team or what's my right team? And what are the points and what's the cycle and all of that? And so I do want to um, pull up a different set of slides um, here. So bear with me for just a second. Um, sorry, guys, I had these up and then I switched to open up these ones and I just want to make sure I pull up the right ones. Sorry, amateur here. Now you can see all the things that I have and how organized I am. All right, open up. All right, are you guys looking at the new slides to show me the money? No? Okay, hold on. Sometimes I have to like stop the share and then reshare it. Hold on. Are we there now? Yes. Okay, so I'm gonna be real honest. These slides are a little dated. I was looking at them, I was like, oh my gosh, we don't even have the A in the logo anymore. Like these packs look different, but they're well done. And actually I'm in the process of remaking them because I realized that these are like a couple of years too old. But for the concepts of understanding the placement and the BV and the team volume and the focus leg, um, I think that it is gonna do its job if um, we need to afterwards. And I know Laura and I are doing our best to stay on uh, track with time tonight, but after nine o'clock central time, eight o'clock mountain time, people we'll wanna stick on, you know, do a little bit of Q and A, we're happy to kind of help with some areas, but I do wanna try and show you this. So um, 
when we first think about the compensation plan, okay, the very, very beginning, which is what we call you share, is when you have opened up your account, you have a minimum order of 100 personal volume. PV, you have purchased 100 points or more of product. And you have someone on your left team and you have someone on your right team, both with 100 BV. 100 points, 100 business volume. We have a binary compensation plan in Isogenics. We build two teams. You have a right sales team and you have a left sales team. For some people, you know, your left sales team is your team leg. For some people, your right sales team is your team leg. We all have a right leg. We all have a left leg. When you start to build your business, right, the very first thing you are is a consumer of the products, a raving product fan. You have to be excited. You have to love the products. Does it mean you have to love all of them? No. Here's a fast fact about me. I've never taken the sleep spray. You guys have probably sold a thousand bottles of sleep spray. I don't even know what it tastes like. Laura's like, I love it. Okay. I drink the collagen every day. I selfishly bought boxes of e-shots knowing they were going to be out of stock because I didn't want to be without them. I love the shakes. I mean, there's certain things. Okay. But you are looking for people with dreams and you're looking for people that need the products. So you're looking for people that want the business, that want to make the money. And you're looking for people that need to use our products. There's a lot of different ways that we get paid in isogenics. I've heard people say we get paid 10 different ways. We get paid six different ways. But one of the ways that we get paid is through PIBs, product introductory bonuses, which is like a referral rebate. So when you get someone set up on a pack, Isogenic says, thank you so much. So if Laura buys the 30 day, I get a PIB, a product introductory bonus. The company gives me a referral bonus for getting Laura onto Isogenic. This happens one time. Every time you get a new customer on a qualifying order, okay? Two or more qualifying orders in a week, they double. That is one way or two ways that we get paid. So right off the bat, you guys, and I talked about this on the corporate call last night, when you get someone on like two value packs in a week, that's $400 in double PIDs. Think about how many hours someone would have to drive for Lyft or Uber, how many adjustments a chiropractor has to do, how many massages somebody has to do to earn that money. That happens every time you get a customer on board and two or more in a week, they double. The second way we get paid is through our rank advancement bonuses. So if you've never looked at this, I want you to print it off, you guys, your map to crystal executive. That is when you go from manager to director to executive in the time periods. And there's bonuses that are associated with going fast and developing your team. The third way, which we call the team bonus, that's the cycles. That's the residual income. There's something that's like the matching team bonus. That's the executive match when you're paid as executive. And then there's other promotions. So those are contests, you know, those are the leadership pools. Those are things that are not necessarily like the foundation of the compensation plan, but are there. So when we think about the PIVs, now I told you these are dated, I apologize, but you can see the cost of the system and the value of the pit, the pack. So these are getting updated, but I want you guys to still be able to see it. So our 30 day, the premium or the value, the 30 day system is now a $35 PIB. You guys, not 25, it's a $35 PIB. The premium is a 50 and the value is a hundred. So if you get someone signed up on the value pack, that's a hundred dollars, right? If you get someone signed up on the premium pack, that's a $50. If we're thinking about the collagen, the afterglow system, that's $25. If we're thinking about the glow and grow system, which is the collagen and the hair revival, that's a $35 PIB. These are what the company gives you a bonus when you acquire somebody new. Two or more in a week, they double. Okay, so here you can see what the value is of the single PIB. And then if it's two or more, what happens when it doubles? You guys, this happens for a brand new leader. And eight years in, Laura and I are still getting PIBs. Laura and I are still committed to double PIBs, right? Like every single week, we're like, oh my gosh, I got to double my PIBs. Because if you can help someone earn $25 or turn that into $100, right? Or $100 and turn that into $400, it's amazing. Our commission week is Monday through Sunday. So if someone gets someone signed up on Tuesday and the following week, they get someone again, it doesn't double. It has to be within Monday through Sunday, two or more in the same week. So it could be three people on Thursday. It could be someone on Wednesday and someone on Sunday. It could be someone on Monday and someone on Saturday, two or more in a week the bonuses double. So when you see me post sometimes in our um, 
business builder thread and I'm talking about like, oh my gosh, you're one away from doubling. That's because you've signed up someone with a qualifying pack and we want you to double that. And it doubles for both packs. And if you have three or four or five or six qualifying packs, it doubles on all of them. So a little bit of the language here, you guys, when we think about business volume, all products in the catalog have points associated with them. So your downline, everything that gets ordered below you is all points, right? Your personal order is like your own points. So you must have an active account. You personally have to order 100 points every single month in order to benefit from the compensation plan. 100 points every 30 days. As a customer, there's no minimum. But you guys are distributors, you're business builders, and we want you to earn from it. The business volume, you know, if someone orders a box of these shots, it's like 22 BB. These might not be accurate, you guys, just an example. The, you know, collagen after glow bundle, 128 BB, right? A value pack, 323 BB. You know, someone gets a thing of shakes, 27 BB. Box of bars, 22 BB, right? All of that is what adds up, and that's what contributes to the team bonus, the cycles, the residual income. So whether you have an auto ship go through, someone goes in because of the promo and stocks up on collagen, they get the seasonal shakes. All of the downline orders have points. That's your business volume. So we're looking at the tree. Here's our compensation plan. You're a customer, and you have someone on your left, and you have someone on the right. OK, when you go into your tree, you actually go to team like enroll new customer. It will tell you to sponsor someone on these sides because we build wide. The inside gets filled through your team as they start to share because every single business has a left and a right. But you're at the top of the tree and you have a left side and you have a right side. Now, when you're sharing recommended carts from the app, it will tell you, do you want to go on your major side or your minor side, you know, your left side or your right side? but we start to build wide. So when you start to share and you start to see these people like fill in, right? And you can see here the points that is ordered with it. So this person has 295 PV personal volume, right? But that is business volume that rolls up to this person, right? This person has 100 PV. This one has 100 PV. You can see what their orders are. And when you go to team and you view my team in the large view, like you can only see a certain amount of people. So sometimes in the team view, you can start to see more, drop it down. But as these people start to share, like you're enrolling people on your left leg and on your right leg, your left leg and your right leg, you're going to see how all of this volume rolls up. Okay. All of the volume rolls up to you. So you're seeing people on your left and on your right and your team begins to grow as you're bringing in new customers. Now, as they begin to share. So as you just saw from that last slide, I'll go up. Right now, these are all like what that person has enrolled. They put someone on the left, someone on the right, someone on the left, someone on the right. It's a binary compensation plan, okay? Left and right and left and right. Now, you see that Suzanne and Anita, they started to enroll people. So this inside of the right leg, right? That is Suzanne's wide left. Okay, or Anita put Sarah down here. That's the inside of your left leg, but that's Anita's right leg. So your tree starts to become a jungle. Okay, each position is the CEO. Each position is the top of the tree. You know, people on the right, people on the left, people on the right, people on the left. And then their position has right and left and it spreads and it spreads and it spreads. The residual of this is every single thing below you rolls up. We have no generational cutoff. So in some MLMs, you guys, you only get paid four levels down or five levels down or six levels down. Ours pays infinitely. So if Anita has 700 people come in, all of those points roll up, okay? Now, the other thing is that this is one of the only compensation plans where the upline contributes to the downline. So right here, if Christine on the left enrolled someone on the new spot, that benefits Madonna, that benefits Daniel, that benefits Catherine. If Catherine enrolls someone on the left, goes to the bottom. We are all working that side together, okay? Now, what makes this not a pyramid is that Catherine can't just sit here and collect from what Daniel and Madonna and Christine is doing because Catherine has to contribute to the pot, right? She has to put people in on her focus leg. That's where you see that our compensation plan is two-thirds, one-third. 600 volume to 300 to cycle. Two-thirds is built for you, one-third you do on your own. So in this example, Charlotte's making or Catherine's making no money because even though she's building volume from the team leg, she hasn't contributed to anybody over here. She's not a consultant. She doesn't have anybody on her right side. 
where um, Madonna came in way later, but she has the team volume and she has someone on her focus leg. She's actually making more money. So it really has nothing to do with getting in early and being at the top of the tree, right? It's about developing people on your left and your right side after you join. You're the CEO and you build two teams. So if all of those points add up, right? The auto ship of the Afterglow bundle and the beauty bundle, and you've got shakes coming in, you've got East shots, you've got bars and you've got Salatois. Every time the computer sees 600 points on one side, 300 points on the other, that's what's called a cycle, which is $54. This is the residual income. It calculates daily and it pays weekly. So from the examples that we showed, right, we had an enrollment that was 300. We had a team member's enrollment, somebody else with 100. So I enrolled Jenny, Jenny enrolled somebody, right? And then I had another enrollment of 200. Well, I had my 600 here. So then I had an enrollment of 100, I had an enrollment of 100. Kathy had an enrollment over here, right? We got to 300. As soon as the computer sees 600 and 300, it's one cycle. Now, if I had 450 on my right, and I had 450 on my left, even though that equates to 900, there's no cycle, okay? The computer would say I've met the requirements on one side and I'm 150 away from the other side. Same way, let's say I had 1800 on my left leg, but my right only was at 200. It's like 100 needed for the next cycle. This is what is the safety plan of our compensation. This is what makes it not a pyramid and people ask about that. Two thirds built for you, we work together. One third, you have to contribute, okay? So as soon as the computer sees it, that's the cycle. So when we're talking about some of the upfront bonuses, and I'm not gonna do a ton of that tonight because I just did that call last night for corporate and we have a 20 minute recording for you if you're interested in it, is that this is the residual, but people look at their back office and they go, why do I have 18,000 points in 700 people below me that I don't know, right? And that's actually an amazing thing that everybody's sharing and everybody's sharing and everybody's sharing and everybody's sharing and that's all banking and you hold on to that volume as being a customer. But if you want to turn those points into dollars, then you must start putting people on your focus light. You have to contribute to the pot to take from the pot. So There's too many buttons here. It goes individually. What I want you to see here in this example is kind of what I was talking about with the rollover volume. So let's say that at the end of the week, right, we had a thousand points on one side, a thousand BV that had gone through and 400 on the other. So when the 600 comes out on one side and the 300 comes out on the other, we had the 900 BV, we had our cycle, but the holdover, the rollover volume, this is amazing. You guys know a lot of people in companies that their volume flushes every month, right? They start over every single month and then all these points, they do all this work and they're constantly start over. Ours going into the next week or into the next month, I would already have 400 points here ready for the next week or ready for the next cycle and I have 100 here. You guys, that is huge. Let's say that I had done all of this with my own personal enrollments. And next week, I need 400 a cycle and 100. Well, let's just say that Kathy and Jenny are on a blitz week and they put a bunch of people in on our right sales team. Then the 300 was already here. And if they get me to 600 over here, I can cycle and I'm not even necessarily contributing to the team. One of my favorite things in the world, and I tell you this not to brag, but because I want you to know it's possible is I'll go to brunch, right? And Ryan knows I work on Sundays. That's the day the back office closes. And he'll be like, babe, do you need to work or something? I'm like, no, it's fine. You know, it's like the day I'll do it later and we'll leave brunch. And I'll say, I just made $200 to go to brunch. And he's like, what? And it's like, I go into my cycles are at one level and I come out and they've jumped four or five while we went to brunch because all these orders are going in. Everybody's sharing, everybody's posting, everybody's running with the promotion. That's the residual. That's why we build this. So if I think about the connecting piece and I message 20 people on Instagram and I want, you know, Jenny to, and I want Laura to, and Kathy to, and Sherry to, that's because I want to go to brunch and I want to get paid to be there. For someone who exchanged time for money, I used to go and teach then and leave and I made money for that hourly wage and that was it. As your team is growing and growing and growing and everybody's posting and everybody's reaching out and everybody's sharing, this is the vision, you guys, for like hairdressers and estheticians that why the esthetician is doing the facial, people that she's put on the products went to a baby shower and they went to a bridal shower and they went somewhere else and all of these people are sending out recommended cart links. They're all buying the collagen and the esthetician comes out of the facial and I was like, oh my gosh, I just made three times what I thought I was going to make because all these happy customers 
are doing it and everything down below rolls up to you. So this is now when you think about growing your cycles, what that is a month and what that is a year. So for people that cycle one time a week, you guys, that's 230 bucks a month. I mean, 250 on like a five week month. You know, that's almost $3,000 a year. Think about people in corporate America, they get a $5,000 bonus at the end of the year, you know, and how easily we can show people how to do that. People cycle five times a week. You know, I think people often look at that and go, it's like 250 bucks. I mean, it's not bad money, right? It's not great money. It's amazing. It changes families. It might not be full-time income, but that's $14,000 at the end of the year. Imagine if you had your job and instead of getting paid $60,000, you got paid $74,000, how different that would look. So we get down to 30 cycles a week, which is about $7,000 a month, right? That's $85,000 in a year. That is above the average income, especially for a woman. And this is what we show people to do. So it starts with the referral bonuses, but we're building, just like Laura said, her income was here year one, year two, year three, year eight, where it's gone. And we've seen this trajectory because it's the compound effect. It's all that volume and everybody is ordering and sharing and ordering and sharing. And we're all contributing to the tree, the right leg and the left leg. We're all contributing. All that volume rolls up. You know, Laura used to be so excited to cycle five times at the end of the week. And now I see her get to 10 cycles on a Monday. Do you guys know how freaking awesome that is? Like on the first day of the week used to be her highest cycle week. And I'm telling you that because if she can do it, you guys can do it. So then the compensation plan, the most you can earn in one isogenics business is 250 cycles, $700,000 a year. I mean, we have people that make $50 a week, $200 a week, $5,000 a week. My mentor makes $35,000 a week. I mean, everything is possible, again, with your skill set, with the grit, with the time you put into it, with the people you develop. But this is the big picture. And so when Laura's saying be consistent, because we underestimate what we can do in year five or 10, because we overestimate what we do in year one, this is it. This is it. And this will happen for everybody. The only way to fail in network marketing is to quit, but you have to see what's available and be willing to put the time into it. This is another important slide that I just want you to see. But if you think about the cycles per week and the amount of money someone would have to have in investment income to equate the same amount in interest, you start looking at those numbers definitely before isogenics, I didn't know anybody with just money like that. You know what I mean? And if you think about a hundred cycles a week, that's five star in the company, right? That person would need to have like $9 million in the bank to earn that in interest, right? To be able to have that into investments to equate the same amount of income. One cycle a week, $54 a week, $250 a month. Someone would still need about a hundred thousand dollars in the bank to earn that in interest, to earn that same money back. And start to ask yourself, how many people do I know that have $93,000 in the bank right now, readily available savings or investments? Who do I know that has $200,000? That's two cycles a week. And we can show people, and this is what we talk about, a cash producing asset, an income producing asset. It is money that is going to make you money by losing yourself in the service of others. So we, our cycles calculate daily, pays weekly, often one week in arrear. The main thing to know here is our commission week is Monday through Sunday. The ranks, you guys, the upfront bonuses, associate, consultant, manager, director, executive, this is as you grow your team. You join as a preferred customer, you upgrade to an associate. The first level is consultant, one on your left, one on your right, okay? You get $100 if you do that within seven days. The five cycle bonus, that is the first time you cycle five times, the company basically matches it. You can do it twice. So even though it says it's $500, you get $250 the first time, $250 the second time you do it. It's amazing. So if you're looking at your business right now and you're like, okay, I've cycled two times, I've cycled three times, this is the next bonus you're working for. Manager is two with two. So I enrolled Jenny and Kathy. Kathy found two, Jenny found two. You get $100 each time you're personally enrolled, fines, they're two. And this is a $250 bonus if you do it within 60 days, okay? So don't worry about the pibs right now. I just want you to see the two with two. The next level of leadership is director. That is six with two. This is as you're developing your team, okay? $750 bonus, $100 for each new consultant. Plus now you can play in the director pools. Huge, $2,500 a month you can earn for three consecutive months. And the highest level of leadership in our company is executive, you guys, 10 with two. 
And along the way with the five cycle bonus, you also can get the one star bonus. You can get the two star bonus. You can get the three star bonus. If you go to fasttracktoexecutive.com, you can see this one um, in slower speed. And I just did the call for the company last night on ACMDE. If you guys want it, reach out. It's a 20 minute recording, which is why I'm going through this a little bit quickly because I want you to see the tree. Okay. But we talk about all the money that's up front. People will always ask me, Lauren, why do you say there's 20 or $30,000 available in the first six months? That's the manager bonus, the director bonus, the executive bonus, the five cycle bonus, the one star bonus, the two star bonus, the three star bonus. There's now a four star bonus, which is $4,000 plus your leadership pools. Manager is up to $3,000, a thousand dollars a month for three months. Director, $7,500, $2,500 for three consecutive months executive $5,000 a month in the pools. I mean, it's amazing. And we've got to show family what's available here. So I want to go into our activity right now where I want you guys to go into your back office and I want you to, um, I'm trying to go back to the Zoom so I can share the screen, sorry. Um, I want you guys to go into your back office, go to team, and go to view my team. So if you're on your phone, you can do this on your phone. If you're on the computer, you can do it on your computer. But I want you guys to log in to your back office and go to team and view my team. And I want you to just play around here a little bit. I mean, Laura's gonna spend some more time in the back office and showing you some things. But if you look at your team right now and you scroll down, and you put it into large view, not team view, right away, you should see members in downline. So I'm actually going to, no, I'm not gonna do that. Um, I was thinking about showing you something, but I'm not gonna do that. Um, if you go into your back office and team view my team, put it into large view where you're the top of the tree, right? And then you start to see the legs go left and right. I want you to first of all, just look at your members in downline. And I encourage you guys to be bold right now and put into the chat, how many members are in your downline? And when you go to team and you go to view my team, so for example, you guys, if I go to mine, it's like 21,000, I think. I've enrolled about 1,000 people. Well, where the heck did the other 20,000 come from? Well, Laura's enrolled about 1,000 people. My sister's enrolled 500 people. My mom's enrolled 100 people. Kathy Dernick has enrolled 200 people. Jenny Thompson has enrolled 500 people. Keith has enrolled 100 people, right? I mean, this is that compound effect. So imagine earning that team bonus, right, of all those people's orders, their auto ships, their wholesale orders, and earning a percentage off of that. So I want you to look at your members in downline and just have a moment of gratitude for the people that are in your tree that you didn't bring on. I mean, I know people that are like, why does it say I have like 700 people on my team and I've enrolled six? And I'm like, you should really just say thank you for that, right? Because that's the generosity of our compensation plan and that's how we work together. I also want you to look at your business right now. And if you go to your um, cycle history, so if you're at team, view my team and scroll up and you can see if you've cycled zero times or one time or five times or eight times. And then look, are you at zero on both sides? Do you have holding volume on one side? Because that would be your team leg as opposed to your focus leg. And start to think about how many cycles you're at and where we can get you, right? I mean, if you cycle two or three times a week, you're like, all right, I'm going to go for the five cycle bonus. And then reach out to one of us and say, help me map out how to hit the five cycle bonus. If you're cycling five, six, seven times, reach out to us for the one star bonus. If you're sitting on 90,000 BBB on your right side and you only have like 100 or 200 going in on your left, right? I mean, there's a lot of people that are contributing to that team leg, but I want you to notice the cash pot you're sitting on. So if you're looking at your team volume and that bank volume, if you were to divide that by 600, that's the point for the cycle coming out of the team side, right? So take whatever side has all that volume. So like Anna, it's your left, Jenny, it's your left, you know, Laura, um, it's your, I don't know anymore, Kathy, it's your right, you know, like uh, look at where that team volume is and take that and divide it by 600, which is the volume that would be needed to cycle because you'll have to create your 300 side and then times that by $54 because that's the value of each cycle. That's how much money you're sitting on in points. 
and just say, do I want to just look at this in points or do I want to cash out on that? Right. And some of you are not necessarily chasing the cycle and you're building towards manager, you're building towards director, you're building towards executive. And that's where tree placement really comes in because we're helping you develop your team and the cycles are going to come. Some of you are saying, man, I love that I can max out this compensation plan as a consultant and I'm not building a team and I just want to cycle as much as I can. There's strategy behind this. So say, should I be putting people on my left or my right? Every single business is different. But if you're an associate and you order 100 BV every single 30 days, you will always thank the volume for every single person below you. We build together. We celebrate together. That's why we want to do group messages together. I mean, when we tell you like we're invested and we do this together, it's important. So I'm going to um, turn it back to Laura and she's going to kind of do some back office stuff. So Laura, do you want me to make you the host so you can do the share of the screen of what's pulled up? Okay. Look at that, 7,670 people. What? Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. All right, I'm making you the host. Okay, let's share my screen. So proud of y'all for hanging in here. I know it's getting late. I'm gonna see if I can share this. All right, well, look at this. It'll be good. So a couple of things as you're navigating your back office. Can you guys see my screen? Everybody good? Okay, so when you come up here, you have all of these headers, right? And if you hover over them, you hover over them, most of them, um, there's some great content in here. So we were just in this view my team. And I tell every single person that I partner with and who is doing this, even in the teeniest, tiniest bit as a business, that at a bare minimum, every morning, you should come into your back office, you should go to team, and you should go to view my team. Because you can get a quick look at whatever's going on in your business, who are your active consultants, if there's anybody in grace, if um, you can look who has a uh, lifestyle rewards nice quick snapshot so i would encourage you if you don't do this now to start doing it every morning grab we grab a cup of coffee whatever it is team view my team and look at your consultants look at your active customers see who has some shipments it's just a way to keep a pulse what's happening. You can still use Penny. You can still use Isolife. You can still use all the, you know, um, Isopulse, all that stuff throughout the day. But this is just a beautiful snapshot of what's happening in your business. So that being said, this contest and promotions button, I don't know if you all, but there is so much great information. So many times I get messages about different things going on, like what do I have to do again for that? Like, what do I have to do for this? If you click on contest and promotions, everything, all this has running and my computer's being ridiculously slow right now. There we go, here it comes. Every promotion and contest that's going on is listed in, and there's details and links on every single one of them. So if you're like, I forget how I earn the, the manager uh, pools. I forget leader in action. What, how do those points work again? It's all right here, right? You can see leader in actions right here. The worksheet is here. The website that ends it all is here for all, all of my besties who are going to Puerto Vallarta with me. If you need a refresher on how you're gonna get there with me, um, all that information is in there. I get questions a lot about Team Builder Club. What, how do I earn what again? Remember, those are the free products that you get based off of enrollments. All this is in here. So not that you can't ask me, but I want you to know what types of resources that you have available. And then um, I wanna show you quickly here in the back office, how you create a recommended cart. Some of you might be pro, some of you may have never done this before, but I wanna show you how to do it. So when you come to team, you can see just here, 
is manage my recommended carts. So if you're like, wait a second, Laura, I'm so new. I don't even know what that means. What's a recommended cart? Remember from your ISA Life app, and we're going to talk about the app in just a second. Remember from the ISA Life app, you can open up the app. You can go to the little head. You can go to share Isagenics, and you can share out order cart links. Okay. So you want to have carts set up in your back office that you can be sharing out. So you want to have a beauty afterglow bundle set up. That's the six pack of collagen. You want to have a, um, a beauty bundle set up. That's the 40 pack of collagen. You want to have a glow and grow pack. You want to have, a, want to have some of the nutritional packs set up that you can send out. It's the same link. This was really confusing to me. And just so, I, so you guys know, you create one link and you can share it over and over again with customers. So it's not one link per customer. Okay. That was a big point of confusion. Uh, a lot of people, including me, that I had to make a link for each customer. So if I have 10 customers ordering the Afterglow bundle, they all get the same link. I'm just going to select if they go to my left leg or my right leg. Okay. So you go to manage recommended parts. And I'm sorry for the, the time lag here with the share the screen and the Wi-Fi and all that jazz. So you go up here to create new recommended cart in the upper right corner. Clearly Keith doesn't send recommended carts. So <laughs> you know who's taking care of that over here. Um, okay, so I'm gonna tell you what I do and it's my best advice for you. Every single customer that I get started comes on as a preferred customer on subscription. And I queue them up and tell them that ahead of time. That's a different training, but I tell every customer, I'm going to send you this cart link and I leave them, I send them the link and I leave them a voice recorded message that explains what they're looking at. But I tell them, when I send you this link, I want you to know I am getting you started as a preferred customer utilizing our subscription service. It's like a subscribe and save. And there's a couple of things that are really awesome. You're going to get the best price on the product. You're going to get the best shipping rates. You'll get free shipping on the first order. You get the best shipping rates on any future orders. And it is incredibly simple to manage. You're not obligated to order every month if you don't want to, but you're in control of the ship. So I'm going to start you this way so you get the very best deal, but I'm not committing you for the rest of your life that you're buying product you get to decide. So tell people that ahead and then make sure you explain the cart to them when you send it, separate training. Okay, so we're gonna create a cart for a preferred customer on the subscription plan. And it says my internet connection is unstable. I don't know. This looks just like if you were gonna place an order, right? So if you go up here to browse catalog, the three little lines, I'm just gonna set up a collagen cart to show you, but all of our catalog, uh, all of our categories show up here. And of course, collagen is all about the beauty. So if we hover over beauty, we see the beauty afterglow bundle. So I'm going to select the beauty afterglow. And then I'm going to, -da -ba -ba. there we go. So here it is on the screen. I'm going to add it to the recommended. There it is. If I wanted to put something else in this cart, I could, like, let's say they wanted to try a couple canisters of shake, take advantage of the 20% off savings. You could put that in there, but for this purposes of this, I'm just creating a beauty afterglow bundle. So I'm going to hit continue. I think it's thinking. There we go. Now it's going to ask me, what do I want to put in the subscription? See here, it says set up the subscription. You can do a couple of things. You can I do because if they're going to um, double dose for a little bit longer into the second month and then go to single doses, this is a very best price. You can hit repeat order and send them another um, afterglow bundle for the subscription, which they can change at any time, or you can go in and pick whatever you want to do. For me, I'm just going to hit repeat initial order. 
And this is now what is in their subscription cart. So I'm going to hit next. And then it says, what do you want to call this cart? And the reason you want to name it is so when you open up your Isolife app and you want to send it out, you'll know the names of your carts. So it's real quick and easy. You don't have to scan through them all. And I name them exactly what they are. So I just call it after glow bundle. And who knows if that just typed in there or not. After glow bundle. And then don't worry about my spelling. There is a save button. Doo, doo, doo. There it is. I see it up there. There's a save button up at the top of the screen. And now if you open up your um, Isolife app, whoop, if you open up your Isolife app, in case you don't know how to share a cart, I'm going to do it super, super fast. You open up your Isolife app, down on the bottom right-hand corner is a head. That's you. That's you. And if you scroll down to my team, you'll see share Isogenics. And then you'll see the carts that you created are all set up in there. You can tap on them and send them out from there. Okay. So there's that little hey, ditty. Laura, just for the sake okay. of the recording, because you can do it from the computer and also the app. Will you right here, click on share the cart and see what it looks like? Cause I want to show like the alternating or the minor or the plus or whatever. Cause you guys, sometimes like I, I love it in the app and you can do it and you're out in the bow and just text it to someone. But I also really, really love the computer. Like I had an email, I haven't put an email together for a while, but the girl was like, let me look over some information. And I like did the glow and grow. I did the collagen and I was able to like, as I was typing or put the links in there and I prefer working on a computer sometimes. So just if you can keep going through here, that would be amazing. Oh, yeah, for sure. So um, there's a couple of things up here and I get asked this a lot like what are the so if it's your personal customer you're the enrolling sponsor let's say um Kathy that you called me and said my phone died and I'm at work and I have no computer can you please send my friend Susie an afterglow bundle cart I would say sure because Kathy and I are on the same team I can put her in so I can hit edit and I could put Kathy um Kathy's information in and send the enrolling sponsor. Okay, so this allows us to help each other on the team and change enrolling sponsor pieces. Placement sponsor is completely different. You can be the enrolling sponsor, but change placement. So example, Keith is my husband, my personally enrolled. I can be the enrolling sponsor but make him the placement sponsor. So I drop that enrollment into his business. So they're still my customer. I'm placing them into the legs of his business. Okay. So that's the placement sponsor piece. And then where do I want him to go? Left, right? So I personally am always doing left or right when I send out cart links. I don't use minor and I don't use alternating. You can set alternating if you wish. If you really just want to go back and forth, the system will automatically assign out left and right. Um, but for my business and for the people I'm supporting, I'm really helping them try to determine the best placement depending on their business strategy. Okay. And then let's just say. Hey, hey Laura, real quick. Um, Lisa, your question. All good. That's what Laura was saying is that she is the sponsor but she's putting it in Keith's volume. So that's a little bit higher volume, but you guys, because when you're married, like you can build two teams, you know, and obviously they both cycle and she gets the matches because she's an executive. So for like leader in action points, Laura's the sponsor, right? She would get the PIB, but she's placing it in Keith's business on that focus leg so that he cycles and then it still contributes to like her team side, but she's the sponsor. But that's like, you can do that where you can place people. So if I have someone that say like, Jenny, who's working really, really, really hard, and I want to help her with her focus leg, I can put some people over there where I'm the sponsor, but they're on where she needs to cycle because it incentivizes her. We're working together. I mean, Kathy just did an event with me 
at a boutique and I put somebody over there where I was the sponsor, but the volume went to Kathy because I wanted her to benefit since we had done that event together. But with the alternating, I agree with Laura, I don't do that. I want to be very specific on where I'm putting people on my right or my left. However, a lot of the spas or estheticians I've set up and I have brochures with them with QR codes, I've chosen alternating so that they don't have to worry about it. And ultimately they're going to have people on the right, people on the left. They're going to have people ordering on both sides, you know, and that it's going to just even out. So that's a really nice tip of when to have that. So say, when do I use the alternating? A lot of times when you get a business set up or people that are just kind of casually sharing, they don't have to go, does it go on my right? Just go on my left, you know, and it'll even out. But if you're building a business, you want to be intentional with, you know, people that know each other or family and keeping them together. But if I was an esthetician and I just like had my brochures up there and the collagen and people ask about it and they grabbed it, alternating so that they can order whatever they want, you know, and it's never like you're going to end up with eight people on one side and no one on the other. Exactly right. Yep. Totally agree. And then from here, you can just create a shareable link. And so you can copy the link. And once you have it copied, you can put it in an email, you can put it in Facebook Messenger, you can text it out, you know, however you want to do that. So from your laptop, you know, you can utilize this just, just as effectively as you could the isolate app. The only difference is, you know, the phone is, the phone and the app are just wherever you are, right? So, um, but yeah, if someone, you know, asked for something specific and I'm creating a card on my laptop and they asked me to email it, I email it right from the laptop after I create it. Cause sometimes we create those one-off carts and things like that. So you can just copy the link and go to your email or whatever you're going to do. And you can just drop it right in the body of an email or uh, Facebook messenger. So um, was that helpful, Lauren? <laughs> the other thing that I wanted to just talk with you guys about, that the things that I get questions about, I just can't encourage you enough. We could spend hours going through this back office. And by the way, if you go to Isogenics Business, there is a tutorial on your back office. So you can go there and actually watch the tutorial. Um, and I'm always happy to do some one-on-one -on -one stuff with you guys, but, but I get asked a lot, like, how, how can I look at my compensation? Like, how can I see how I get paid? So if you come over here to team, you can actually go and look at your compensation history, what you've been paid, and you can drill all the way down and actually see what it is. So just as an example, if you want to see like, okay, on this particular week, I got paid 54 hours. You can click on that little arrow right there. And it will actually break down every single thing that you got paid. Your cycles, any bonuses, any PIBs, any leadership pool money, lifestyle bonus. So if you're questioning like, what am I getting paid? How am I getting paid? Um, click into your compensation and look, I get asked a lot, like, I don't understand what I got paid. And I'll say, well, pull the report up and let's talk about what's in there. Once you do this a few more times and you really look at your company, you're going to have such a better understanding of what Lauren was talking about when she was saying the BV rolls up and it's 600 and it's 300 and blah, blah, blah. When you start seeing how you're getting paid off that volume, you will grasp such a great understanding of it. So just one more thing I would encourage you to do is take a peeky poo in your back office um, and look at your compensation. It'll help you understand how you get paid. And I think, um, Lauren, was there anything else? Oh, reports. And I'm not going to go through all these reports. This is a whole other thing that we could spend some time talking about, but we have access to some really great reporting on our businesses. And as your business is growing and growing, you'll see how beneficial these become. So you can look at your business blueprint. You can look by member. Do you want me to drill into these, Lauren? 
you're muted, so I don't know. I can't read your lippies. Yeah, I think, no, I don't think you have to. I want you guys to just see where it's there. And so, I mean, we could do a whole call for two hours just on your back office, you know, and just on this. And there's certain things that start to happen at different levels. But like when people always want to know about um, how do I change my auto ship? And ISO Life app is great for a lot of people. For those people that don't want to work off their phone or not as techie, Laura, can you just hover over the orders tab? Um, you guys like right underneath the orders tab, like where you can manage your subscription right there where she's going to go into it, or you can place an order. Some people will be like, oh, my auto ship just went out, but I forgot I needed, you know, sleep spray. And I'm like, just go in and place a one-time order, you know, but the, um, auto ship right here, you can go in, you can change the subscription date. You know, his is set to every 28 days. Um, we always encourage at least every 29 days, even though you only have to order 30, if it's within the 30 days, your volume will contribute to your cycles. If not, it gets washed away. So, you know, over time you want all of your orders to help, but you can go in there and take out whatever you want and put in whatever you want. So Laura, if you can hover just over the orders tab again, mm -hmm. and you can see in there how to place that one-time order. You don't have to click on these, just hover them or how to manage the subscription, where events are, you know, like if you have events tickets, that's all like within the stuff that you would order. It's also where your coupons are. So when you guys get people started, you know, two people every month or your very first time, you get the beginner builder coupon. Five for your very first time or five within the commission month, you get the expert builder coupon. So when you see us tag you, hey, you've just earned beginner builder coupon or you've earned expert builder coupon, which is your cleanse for life and hydrate or the vitamins, or you see the graphic on, hey, when you get two people started, you get the product coupon, you get your you know beginner builder coupon and people are like, what is that? That's where the coupons are for people to redeem them um, and be able to tell your team. If you know you have people sharing, say, hey, don't forget to turn in your beginner builder coupon or, hey, heads up, you've got your product coupon in there. Laura, would you mind hovering over team? I mean, this is a step you guys, when I think about being an entrepreneur and I, when I owned my own business and I had to make my own spreadsheets and do my own marketing and people go, why do you pay $29 to be an associate? I'm like, yes, yes, because our freaking corporate team does this. So there's your placement tree. That's if you want to enroll someone, you know, if you're not sending them a cart where the compensation was, how to build the carts. I mean, that's amazing. And there's so much information there. And part of this is just playing around, you know, and changing the views and seeing where it is. There's one thing I'm going to have you do, Laura, before you stop the um, screen share, but go over to resources, please. Um, when you guys start to go through that and see what's available, I mean, sales tools. When you're like, where are you getting these trifolds? Where are you getting the business cards? I mean, there's a link that will take you right to there. You know, how to manage your website. Many of you don't know you have a website and it's not hard. I don't usually send people to it, but it's there. You know, I mean, there's different um, clothing. If you want to rep gear, if you want to know what Penny is and how to um, use a contact managing system that was made for network marketing, that's all there. Um, really, really good stuff. And those reports, as you get higher up, when you hit executive, when you hit two star, when you max out, there's different things you can see. But if you've ever wondered, like, where do we post your close to double pids or this person's earned the five cycle bonus or top sponsors, top retailers, that's where that's coming from. So Laura, I think you're still in Keith's business. Will you just go to team and view my team one more time? I want you guys to see something. The back office is like slow always when you're on Zoom and sharing the screen. So thanks, Laura. So if you scroll down here just a little bit, you guys, and this is kind of what we were talking about. So the right sales team, you can see what goes through his business actually every week, right? Like 13,000, 9,000, 7,000, but look how much is banked there. I mean, he has almost 200,000 banked because he's never gone inactive, okay? So if we were to do the math that I suggested, which I'm going to do this 195, 832 divided by 600 times 54. He's sitting on like 17,000 right there, right? So now Laura, when we're talking about Lisa's question, Laura is the placement, um, the enrolling sponsor, but she places them on Keith's left leg. Keith is on Laura's right leg. It will still go to her right leg. It still contributes to her right sales volume. But because he's below her, everything rolls up. When she places people on his left leg, Keith only needs 300 BV every week to cycle. So she's building over there. Look at Keith cycles that are growing. Isogenics, you can 
um, build two businesses with a husband and wife. Some network marketing companies, you can't. So if Laura cycles 40 or 50 times a week, Keith is cycling, you know, 10, 14, 15 times a week, eight times a week, you know, I mean, she's at closer to a four star than a three star because of the, both businesses. So when you hear us say like enroll your spouse and never let them go inactive and build that, this is a gift that you can do in Isogenics that you cannot do in a lot of network marketing companies. So if you look down at the very bottom and it says the need for next cycle, he doesn't need any on the right. He's got 195,000 there. It's a maxed out business. But then on the left, as soon as an order goes through on the left or Laura enrolls somebody over there, he'll cycle. It'll go to seven. It'll go to eight. And that's what we're talking about. The BB, 600 points on one side, 300 on the other. In this example, the right sales team is higher. 600 points on the right, 300 on the left. Laura, will you keep scrolling down? So when you're looking at the team here, keep going just a little bit more. Um, if you can go to, uh, yeah, up a little bit there. So the top there where it says member ID or member name or join date or whatever, you can go by this. So Laura, will you just click on join date? So this can filter. So that will be by the most recent. Click it again. Or the, those are actually the oldest. So those are the most recent, right? Like, and you can like do it. You can search by, you know, the highest BV that went through. You can change this by alphabetical, reverse alphabetical, but that's like a built-in spreadsheet. Um, Keith does not have the two star and above reports, right? So he doesn't have all the contact information, but the people on your team that are executive two star and above, we have emails, we have phone numbers. So if you're like, Hey, how do I get a hold of this person? You know, we want to help you with that, but that is like understanding how much is there. And then Laura, if you'll scroll all the way up to the top, and click on the box that says personal enrolled details. You guys, this is sometimes where I encourage people to print off. And like, if you're gonna work your list for a promotional week. So if you were gonna message your whole team and say, oh my gosh, like um, we have this promo. So if you can just scroll briefly through it and back up. I don't wanna stay on it. So there's people's information here, right? But you can look at that and then scroll up. You can literally print that off, you guys. You have numbers and emails right there. I mean, you could copy those emails and put it into one big email and send it out to everybody. Hey, heads up, we have a three-day promotion, 20% off and free shipping. If you want to come take a look at Isogenics, you haven't ordered in a while or need to place an order, I know everybody loves a deal. I mean, that would not take very long to click on all those emails, put them in a blind copy all in one email and send it out. But when you're searching through the tree and you're trying to figure out everybody, it can be really challenging. But when you have it all in one place and you're like, oh my gosh, okay, I'm just going to text all these people. That's where I like some of the texting apps that people use. They put all their contacts in there so that when Mocha gets released, when Pumpkin Spice gets released, you just send a message out to everybody and Laura can have that saved as Keith's business and sends out, hey, by the way, Mocha's launching it tomorrow morning. I don't want you to miss it. And you start to get more efficient at this. So Laura, honey, will you um, stop the screen share and make me the host again? What do I need to do to make you the host? Hover over my box um, on the gallery, like where you see me and the three dots drop down and you can click to make me the host. I see it, awesome, thank you. Okay, so um, just to wrap up here and you guys are awesome. Um, we're doing great with our time. I'm so proud of Laura and I, this is not always the case. Um, I want to just, really, really highlight some things that are popping up right now. So the Dash to Mexico, you guys, that's a current contest and promotion um, that's running, you know, through March and April. It's eight enrollments, four consultants, and one rank advancement manager or higher. You know, like I know Leah's like getting really close to having her enrollments there. Anna's really close to having her enrollments. You know, Laura's uh, had her enrollments. And then it's like, okay, like how many consultants do I need? How many managers? I mean, that's a trip that they're going to have a cash payout. Are you going to go to Puerto Vallarta? Like what? Like all expenses paid for the vision tours start next week they're going for two weeks you guys go to isogenicsevents.com look at all the cities i'm not kidding you if you don't have one in your backyard drive two hours drive four hours like they're going to be amazing the one in denver um which i'm hosting um we're having matt larson tanner kirkpatrick Mike Mallory, Sarah Richter. I mean, it's bananas. Like what a gift to have that in our backyard. The Houston lineup is insane. The Philly lineup is insane. I mean, they are all over like Indiana. I mean, it's like put a bunch of people in a car, 
and go to them. They're an opportunity presentation. You're going to have like, you know, Dr. Plant's on the road, you know, Jillian's on the road, the Taylor's on the road. They're talking about the products. They're talking about the opportunity. We've got the, um, the ELT team, the executive leadership team on board. So all the sales managers, like our chief science officer, chief, you know, tech officer, chief informational officer, like it's amazing. And they have not done this in years and years. So to have that caliber of training around the belief and the content, it's incredible. For those of you in Denver, this Saturday, I'm doing a three hour training, similar content to this, a lot of one-on-one -on -one work through some limiting beliefs and vision casting. I would love to have you guys there. But the main thing I want to tell you guys all is celebration. Some of you are at NYKO, some of you weren't. Celebrations in Orlando in August, the 11th to the 14th. They, this event in the past has been close to 20,000 people. They have 6,000 tickets. Things are still um, a little nervous for some people to have huge events together. The venues are not super on board of being able to host them. The company is like not sure who's going to travel. I mean, I think they thought they were going to have twice as many people at NYKO than what they did. I'm telling you this because it's almost sold out. I happened to be on a call and I was asking about, um, can we do an event sell at the Vision Tour? And they were like, no, because we don't have enough tickets. I mean, so if you guys don't have your Orlando ticket, you want to get it and you want to start getting your teams there. I mean, this is absolutely going to be sold out. It's going to be amazing. Celebration is when we do our 100 pound club, you know, top income earners, our gala, I mean, new products are coming out. It's going to be amazing. That's our biggest of the core events. So isogenicsevents.com, you want to make sure that you get your ticket. And I personally just want to leave you with this, that Laura and I say this all the time. If we can do it, you can do it. You guys, I know that sometimes people hear me now and they go, she's so polished or she knows the answers to everything. You guys, I was the biggest hot mess express when I first started and I still am. If you could see my desk right now, like I'm the most organized, disorganized person. Like I have things in my head. I don't always have the right systems. I forget things. We have typos, you know, but the idea is that we love what we do, right? If the hardest part of my day is to remember to post on social media and I never have to commute in a blizzard at 5 a.m. to work for a jerk doctor for $12.50 again, you're darn right. I'm going to message 10 people on Instagram, right? If the hardest part of my day is dealing with someone who has collagen acne and I got to figure out how to get them to overcome their reaction and get them to have a better experience, like I'm going to do it all day long. But I said this last night on the company call, and I really just want to reiterate it, that I started this business for myself. Like I'm, I would be lying if I told you I wasn't completely self-motivated and it was a completely selfish endeavor. It was a hundred grand in debt. I was making like 15 bucks an hour on average. I was so burnt out and I saw this and I saw the compensation and I was like, never in my life is that happening again. I saw those rank advancement bonuses. I remember looking at executive, just executive, not even the leadership pools and looking at a thousand dollars and going, how many spin classes do I have to teach? How many ships at the bar do I have to work to make a thousand dollars? And I was like, get out out my way. I'm going to build this business. I had no idea what I was doing. I had never managed anybody. I had never been in leadership. I had never been in network marketing. I had never been in sales. I was a personal trainer and a nutritionist with a burning why to have more time in my life. It quickly, quickly changed once I realized what I had a hold of and how much bigger this was than me and that I could be self-motivated all day long, but the value, the fulfillment, the joy was going to be with understanding what other people needed and being to help other people reach their goals. You know, some of the builders on our team that had sick children, people that were working a gazillion jobs, people that have put kids through college, that have gotten out of debt, that have quit other jobs, that built a retirement, that have changed their health, whatever it can be that I will promise you, you don't have to be perfect at this. You don't have to know every answer. You don't have to know the compensation plan. You don't have to know every single ingredient, but what you have to do is love what you do. And you have to be excited about showing others how to be successful. This business is not hard, but it does take consistency, right? It does take time blocking. It is a skills-based business. And the more that you invest in learning, the better you're going to become, the more money that you're going to make, but you have to start somewhere. But it's so dang fun. And I'm going to see if Laura has anything to say. You guys, I could have made a 20-minute slideshow of all of the pictures that I have with just Laura. We have traveled to so many places together. Our trips, our business meetings often involve Prosecco, right? Like that's like one of the things that we love to do together. It often involves a workout. But it's like if we can build this business from our cell phones, kind of tipsy and with dirty hair, like anybody can do this. And I promise you it is worth it. So if you're frustrated right now and you're like, oh my gosh, how am I going to do a reel? I'm in the same boat. 
I'm in the same boat. I watch these people and I'm like, oh my gosh, if I shake my phone for a transition, I'm like, damn it. I just lost the whole thing. <laughs> like, I don't have another hour to try and do that. Right. I'll figure it out. But then I'm like, you know what? I'm going to go and get a pedicure and meet someone on my left and someone on my right, because there's people out there that are begging for this. There are people out there that need our products, that need this culture, that need the compensation. And I didn't even know when I first got started, everything that was going to happen, how much time I would really have, how much my life would really change and ultimately the freedom that we would create. But it's the fulfillment. It's the richness of these friendships, it's the richness of the stories, knowing that this carried people through the pandemic, knowing people that have gotten out of debt, knowing people that have met their significant others that have become the best of friends, like whatever that may be through this company that just lean in to the bigger dreams, lean in to all the things you want, the people you haven't even met yet. And then ask yourself when it gets tough, if not this, then what? And for some people, you guys, there are other options and this might not be for you, right? I mean, someone could tell me I can make five times as much staring at spreadsheets all day long and building robots. I'm never doing it. I'm never doing it. I don't want to look at spreadsheets all day long and I don't know how to build a robot and I don't want to learn either, right? But the reason that the outcome has been so successful for me is because I love what I get to do every day. Like if I can get on a Zoom and show people the numbers, if I can go to a coffee appointment, if I can talk to you about your health, like I love what we get to do every single day, but I really, really love seeing what it does for other people. And if this is something that you are excited about, about the money, about the products, I mean, I truly challenge yourself. What are other options do you have? Okay, because I will tell you in my 20s, I knew I could not teach 40 hours of group fitness, right? I'm almost 40 and every joint in my body hurts when I work out really hard, right? I'm like so thankful that I'm not dependent on that. Like I destroyed my body in my 20s. Like I know that this is what's for me. And then just ask yourself, like choose your hard. It's always gonna be hard, right? Working for a boss is hard. Getting laid off is hard. Not having enough vacation days is hard. You know, not being able to do the things that you want with your kids is hard. Not having the money to travel, to do whatever, that's hard. Finding new friends on Facebook might not be the most glamorous. It's not hard. Following new people on Instagram is kind of annoying, kind of taunting. It's not hard. And if you say, I have so many dreams and I want to be an inspiration to others. I want to help other people. I want to have this life, like really map it out. Start with mapping out those IPAs, track your weekly goals, your monthly goals, your yearly goals. And I'm going to turn it back with Laura with her closing thoughts, but find an accountability partner that wants you to have your best life. Laura will tell people, and I'm going to say this because she would does the same thing for me that I never stop believing in her and I never stop pushing her, right? We have become the best of friends to the point that she was in my wedding, right? And we like in the very beginning, she would say I was a young girl that bossed her around, but I always encouraged her, but I always pushed her because I was never going to let her play small because it wasn't doing her family, the service or anybody else because I knew what she was capable for. When you really lock arms with an accountability partner, they will help you be the best version of themselves. Laura has equally done that for me. The times that I'm like, oh my gosh, like I haven't enrolled anybody. She's like, oh my gosh, do this and that. You know, you'll enroll like six people next week, you know, has dialed me back in. The times I've ever doubted it, she's encouraged me. She's believed me. She's reminded me of the things that are going well. Comparison is the thief of joy. But if you really, truly love what you do, you love helping other people, you believe in this company, believe in the products, put your blinders on, put your head down, run your race, lock arms with someone who will hold you accountable and just don't worry about anybody else's journey because it's yours and the best has yet to come. I totally agree. And I, the, I, the only thing that I would add to any of that is whatever it is you want this business to do for you, make it about other people, care enough about other people that you want to gift this to them and stay consistent. I just size that enough that whatever it is you're going to do just do it consistently and everything else will fall in line make it about everybody else who are you going to serve who can you give this gift of greater health and financial freedom to and stay consistent you may be very consistent and enroll anybody for three weeks the next week you're going to enroll 25 people consistency is the key manage those emotions and stay consistent it'll all come that's all I got. And I love you all. And I'm so grateful that you all hopped on here. You're amazing. And Lauren, thank you. And yes, I always say I'm so grateful she never gave up on me. 
because I was a hot mess and didn't know what I was doing. And she just stuck with me through it all. And um, we will do the same for all of you. Love you guys. Have a great night. Get to the vision tour. We'll get this recording out. And if you guys have other stuff that you want more of, just reach out. Just be like, hey, can you get even more training on the comp plan? Hey, I'm not sure I understand the cycles. Hey, can you point me in the direction for the verbiage of the connecting? You know, we wanted this to be a little bit engaging and interactive and we gave you the foundations fast, but don't feel like you have to get off this and know everything. Like Lori and I have been to so many events, so many calls, so many trainings. We're still learning. I still grab new things. But just please don't be shy. Message us and say, give me more of this. Where can I find this? Help me with this area because all of you are in different places of your business. And so we don't expect like Misty and Sherry to know the same thing, you know, but sometimes it's a great refresher. Like Jenny just said, oh my gosh, I just learned something new. I can copy the link in the email. I mean, it's like, she's been doing this for seven years. And so whatever it is, just reach out. And we, if we don't have the answers, we'll reach out to people that help us to get you the answers. Thank you so and much. Bye, Hair Revival. So helpful. Bye, Hair Revival. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much, you guys. Bye, bye, bye guys. <laughs>